One way to reduce cheating on quizzes is to have a bank of questions and then have my courses choose a random number of those questions. This ensures that each student get, gets a different quiz questions and in a different order. You can also set up more than one random section within a quiz. One important consideration when creating random sections is that the questions in a random section must be imported from the question library. You cannot create individual questions within a random section, nor can you move questions into that random section if, it does, if those questions are not already in a random section. If the questions you wish to use are not within a question library, you can import them into the question library. You may want to review uh, a couple tutorials for deeper explanation of understanding random sections of courses, and you probably want to view that first, and then how to import questions from a quiz into a library. This particular tutorial is going to show you how to create random sections and import questions into them. So click on Submission Review tab on the nav bar. Click Quizzes. I'm going to click on the name of the quiz in which I wish to add random sections. I'm going to click on Add and Edit Questions. I'm going to click New and I'm going to choose Random Section. I'm going to give a name for that section, random section. I'm going to call it outlining your paper questions. So the name of the section should be make sense to you so that you would know where those random questions are coming from. I'm going to click Save. And the name of the random section has been created. Now to get import questions into that random section, I'm going to click on the name of the random section I just created. I'm going to click the import button. In the source selection drop down list, I'm going to choose select the name from the question library where the questions reside. And again, you may want to view, review the tutorial on how to add questions to the library. So I'm going to click on outlining your quiz paper. What you'll see is a set of your questions. You want to click on the checkbox or you can click the top checkbox if you like to add all the questions. Click Save. What I'm going to do now is enter how many questions I want to display to the students from the poll of questions. From the pool of questions I have um, questions in the random section. So I'm going to say in this case let's just say five. And If I scroll to the bottom you'll notice it will tell me there are ten questions in there. So I'll know how many I can choose from that. What's real important is to click Save. And now I'm going to use the breadcrumb link to return to the editing questions. So here's my breadcrumb link and I return to the editing questions. If I want to add more um, random sections, then I would go ahead and repeat steps 3 through 13. When I'm all done, I'm going to click Done Editing Questions, and this will take me back to the Edit Quiz area. Underneath that random section that I just created, next to each name parentheses, you'll see the number of questions chosen from the poll. 